Hello and welcome to another World of Warcraft video. Today we are checking out an absolutely insane gold farm in BFA that has been around since 8.3 came out. This is a farm that I've been doing all weekend so far and it's a pretty relaxed farm, doesn't take a lot of effort and best of all, you can do it completely solo. So before I say anything else, this is an old world farm and most of the items you get from this won't sell right away but will gradually sell over time. This farm takes place in the Vale of Eternal Blossoms, all the way in the north of the zone, at the Golden Stairs, where you take advantage of the hyperspawn mechanics of these stone lions. You'll want to be a monk, or at least have a monk in the group, and if you plan on doing it solo but you don't have a monk, just make a class trial monk. The reason you'll want a monk is because of the statue and the fact that any class can one-shot them, so as a monk you just stand around your statue, you let the mobs gather up, Use one AoE attack and repeat that process. It's very simple and is a very laid back farm. As for items you're actually farming for, the main one here is the Galileo Keys, more widely known as the Guolai Cash Keys. These keys are used to unlock the Guolai Cash in the Guolai Halls in the west of Vale of Eternal Blossoms. In that cache, you can get a multitude of rewards, but the main two are Spirits of Harmony and Treasures of the Vale, which is a box where you can obtain pretty much any material from the Mists of Pandaria expansion, like herbs, cloth, ores, enchanting materials, and so on. Many people use these materials to craft items, for example, jewel crafters prospecting ore to make different jewel crafters mounts, as well as people using the ghost iron to make sky golems. On top of all this, you can also obtain sky shards from the mobs themselves, and also from the caches you open in the halls of Galileo. Once you obtain 10 of these sky shards, which takes roughly 3 hours when you farm the mobs, you can combine the sky shards into an item to use on Alani, the Crimson Serpent in the Vale of Eternal Blossoms, to obtain a mount that you can actually sell on the auction house for a decent amount of gold. Because of this farm, the prices of all of these mounts, and especially Pandarian materials, will most likely drop by quite a bit and the competition for selling them will be massive. So whether you sell them now or hold on to them is completely up to you. Personally I'm probably going to hold on to them going into Shadowlands so I can sell it off while other people are busy doing other stuff in the game and while the competition won't be that massive. And also because at any moment Blizzard might decide to nerf this hyperspawn mechanic for this farm to the ground, so if I hold on to it long enough the chances of them actually nerfing the farm is higher. And if they do nerf it I suspect the prices will gradually go back up in price again. Two last piece of advice for this farm, number one, send the ghost iron lockboxes to a rogue and open them up. You'll get roughly 30 gold from each lockbox as well as 1-2 to two greens and you can also obtain another lockbox within a lockbox and keep the profit going. Just opening lockboxes won't be the best profit out there but it is a bonus to the farm you're already doing and it's gold you can make while you're standing in Stormwind or Boralus or the Sara Lore or Orgrimmar or wherever your AFK place is and you can just stand there and open lockboxes and actually make profit. Number 2. Use the materials you obtain cleverly and make the jewel crafting mounts and so on, as it's very underrated how much gold you can make on those. Especially the Sky Golem, which usually sees a huge spike in price at the launch of new expansions, due to you being able to harvest while on your mount so people who don't have it yet suddenly sees a use for it when they see the insane price of herbs at the start of a new expansion. Both the Ghost Iron Ore and the Black and White Trillium Ore is used for the Sky Golem craft, and you need a shit ton of all of them to actually make the mount. On top of this, there's a daily cooldown involved, so there is a limit on how many Sky Golems you can actually make. So there it is, a quick video to show you guys my favorite farm in BFA patch 8.3 right now. I thought I'd make this video and upload it as fast as possible to help spread the word about this farm, just in case it gets nerfed in the near future. This is already a very known farm due to Arch Valder making a video on it, and his video is the original video for this farm. If you want to watch his video on it, I'll leave a link to that down in the description. I will be farming up 1000 Galileo keys this weekend, so if you want a video of me opening 1000 Galileo chests, let me know in the comments down below. As always, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, as it really helps me out and shows me which type of content you guys like to watch. If you want more gold making content, make sure you sub it up and click that bell button for more videos. 
This was just a bonus video, so I'll see you in tomorrow's video, where I have a video about gold making and leveling in Classic WoW for mages above level 42. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.